around this is motor matters i'm back without leadfoot this time because he did so much and he helped me so much with so many of the videos while i've been off on my sick leave that he's taken a break over the christmas holidays and he's getting a bit of a leave now so i've got to do this video on my own very familiar face mahindra you can't miss the grill over here with a big square blocks over there in the grill that's the mahindra pickup and this one's the Karoo version, which is a South African special. And I can tell you now that the feedback I've had from Mahindra fans in India is they're very upset at some of the special editions that are coming out of South Africa because they want some of the extra spec we're getting over here. But anyway, that's the way it goes. Nice fat bull bar on the front over here, which says Karoo over there. You'll see there's a sport bar on the back. That's what Karoo gives you because all of the pickups are powered by the same 2.2 liter four-cylinder diesel engine giving you 103 kilowatts and 320 newton meters of torque it's a strong lugging engine the pickup itself it's big it's square to many people it's ugly but you know what it does what it says on the tin and it's strong it's tough you know it is you know it's going to do the job and you know it's going to last and handle our rotten roads with all the potholes and things like that. It's built to take it all. You look at these nice big fat tires over here that you've got no low prof profile nonsense or anything like that. They may only be 16 inches, but they've got the profile and that's what counts for potholes and bad roads, etc., etc. Very neat black mags as well on the Karoo editions. That's the sort of features you get. Very bold to tell you Karoo. You can see the squareness, the big bulky squareness of the entire body. You open up the door over here, you'll see there is a side step over here, but it's still a pretty high step up, I can tell you that. And I've kind of got to lift myself up like that. But you know what, you live with it, that's what it's about, and that's what you know. Karoo spec is cloth seats. You can go up to these special ed editions, dawn, dusk or storm, and you can get leather and things like that. But those are, again, those special editions available in South Africa. You come over here at the back, and you'll see the space in the back seat is not massive, but that passenger seat is set pretty far back. You can see the driver's set, seat set more for my sort of driving position. It gives you enough room in the back seat, and that's what you want and what you require. Coming around to the back over here, of course, I mentioned you've got the what they term a sport bar over here it looks the part doesn't it nothing that's what really counts because it's about looks more than anything and this particular one has got a roll top on the buck over here i'm not going to open it for you you all know what a buck is about it's not important at all is it and you can see over here decent step for you to get up to load or do everything at the back that you want to do also very very important now i told you it's a Karoo. the Karoo is based on the s11 which is of course the top spec level in pickup speak and we're driving the automatic version as well good old-fashioned six-speed torque converter automatic it does the job it's smooth it's comfortable it runs nicely we've taken a trip out to cullinan today christmas eve it's dead dead quiet out here absolutely nothing going on we normally come out on the weekend and let me tell you you can't move around here but we just decided to do it and get out like we always do and i need to get out at the stage during my recovery period it's important for me to get out and get out and about so that's what it's about so you'll check it out on the road we'll show it to inside and you'll see the last bits and pieces of what this vehicle is really about cruising out on the open road of course in the Hardebeersport area because that's just where I love being and we're in the Mahindra pickup it's the S11 Karoo version six-speed automatic transmission 2.2 liter diesel and turbo diesel engine but what is amazing or what always gets me with this particular vehicle is that there's a bit of wind noise 
and when you look at it from these big square mirrors over here on the sides you'll be, not be surprised at the wind noise and also when you look at it from the outside and you realize how big and square and bluff and rough and tough and pretty much ugly it is quite honestly yet besides wind noise it actually is very smooth very comfortable and really handles the road pretty nicely no it's not a racing machine you'll pay double the money if you want a double cab that could double as a racing machine it's certainly not but the value for money proposition you've got your touch screen which includes a reverse camera it also does have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay so you've got features like that it's a six-speed torque converter automatic it really you expect it to be a lot less comfortable than I'm finding it right now you expect it to be bumpy bouncy uncomfortable hard harsh all those words you want to use yet it's just not really like that but overall, it's actually not a bad place to be and not a bad place to spend a little bit of time and just go out on your holiday cruise which is exactly what we're doing today Behind the wheel, I'm not going to spend much time telling you about it, but you can see it's basic, it's plain, it's simple, but it tells you what you need to know. And that's all that counts in my book. But being a top spec S11, for example, it does give you cruise control. So you get that as well on this one, which is not bad. And you've got, of course, your buttons on the side of the steering wheel as well. So you've got a multi-function steering wheel. You've got electric windows all around. And something I do like is the fact that both front windows are one touch up and down. There's some cars that cost a lot more money that don't give you that feature. Let me simply put it that way. Now again, you do get a nice screen, touch screen over there in the center. It's a small one, but it's an infotainment screen. It certainly works. Press the home button, there you go. I tested Android Auto, it worked extremely, extremely well. I was very impressed by it. Have to tell you that much. And of course, you've got your air conditioning system, again, pretty effective and very important if you want to switch off ESP over there, you'll descend control over there, and then very hidden, but you'll see it better because there's a cable here. But I had to search to find that USB, quite honestly. It was a bit of a look and a bit of a search, but I did find it. Little complaint I'm going to give you is the surround over here, you can see this bright does reflect quite badly when you're driving in sunlight. And also, we found quite a reflection from the instrumentation across the driver's window and into the mirror at night. So these are little points, but I mean, what are you expecting? It is a bucky, and it is a pretty agricultural bucky in many ways. You get two airbags, which is not bad. Your automatic gearbox I mentioned to you, six-speed torque converter. And what is important is look there, put it into reverse, you do get a reverse camera which gives you guidelines as well etc so that's useful and very necessary in my book on any double cab bucky quite honestly so i do believe that that's important put it back into park over there now i don't think i mentioned to you this is the 4x4 version you get a 4x2 or 4x4 difference of about thirty-five thousand rand roughly between the two very easy click click and there you go into four high or even four low just as simple as that and if you go back on my channel you'll see when I did the off-road training with the SA Guild of Mobility Journalists and Mahindra South Africa we used the Dune Dusk and Dawn special editions which have additional 4x4 ability over and above this one but we use those for some 4x4ing and let me tell you they certainly certainly are capable vehicles off-road I was most surprised by that Oh, and I've got to point out another feature to you. Both the driver's and passenger seats have these armrests that just simply fold up or down. And they are very, very comfortable, particularly I found in the passenger seat that it certainly is comfortable for me. You want another little picky point? Don't expect a good turning circle. You want to park? You're going to swing that wheel hard and you may have to make a two-point or three-point turn or whatever it is or maybe a four-point turn depending on where you are but you know what you live 
with these sort of things. And that's what it's about. So, big point, what's the price? Well, this one, as we're in it right now, 510,000 Rand. That's what you're gonna pay for this. I think you realize how competitive that is in the market. It really is. If you wanna go up to the special editions, I mentioned uh, the Dawn, Dusk or Storm, will they add the extra 4x4 hardware, the upgraded suspension, the different uh, um, bumpers for off-roading and various other things, leather trim, etc, etc, you'll pay 625. So it's a bit of, it is a premium, but they do add a lot and there are special editions. So again, choice only you can make. Overall, you know Mahindra stands for roughness, toughness, ability and longevity reliability all those words come into it don't they you're looking for a bucky that can work hard play hard and deliver a surprisingly comfortable cruising ability put this one on your short list it's as simple as that especially at the price for matter matters i'm eleanor i'll see you next time